Hey everyone, this is Haru. Welcome to the next video. In this video, we will learn next some next tools. As we learn uh, some tools, these five tools in previous lecture: move tool, marker tool, and there is the lasso tool and selection tool, and it is the crop tool. We have learned all of them in previous lecture. Today we are gonna learn about eyedropper tool and spot healing tool, brush tool, clone tool and history brush tool. So let's start. First of all you need a new picture so new file import a file. Open new just simply go to desktop where you are having picture open it up into the photoshop and here so we having we have this beautiful picture here so what is our tool this is eyedropper tool what is the function of eyedropper tool here we have color box this is foreground and this is background foreground we have selected foreground so we can select any color here so it will come into the foreground like this this and this so this is the function of eyedropper tool here we have another 3d material tool this is not going to work here because for this we have to learn 3d in photoshop this is quite difficult but i will teach you some other lectures so next is the color sampler tool it use colors as sample like we click one here second here third here and fourth here so here we have all colors and there are gb color oh, rbg width if we move pictures picture is log unlock it by double click so if we move it color will change here also this is the function of this tool color sampler tool want to delete this tool go to and delete here delete and that's it our next is a ruler L ruler is like uh, if you want to take width of something height of something like this angle length here so this is the function of ruler tool next is a note what is node? Note is uh, you have to add something to remember. Like you add a note here. This is Sakai. And leave it. When you click on the note, you will see what is this. This is the function of note to want to delete the note yes read all notes okay so what is our next tool our next tool is spot healing tool this is the best tool in the photoshop so we just need to remove this picture and take a new picture from the desktop here i have this picture here so what the spot tool gonna spot healing tool gonna work like this i will show you this girl has pimples pimples on her face you want to remove them just click on, on it and it's gone this 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 so her face is clear no pimple nothing so 
this is the spot healing tool also show you something else so why we hang this picture and i am going to paste it here so this is the bird in the sky want to remove this bird from the sky just cover it with the spot healing tool and here bird is gone you have clear blue sky this is the function of spot healing tool so what is the next uh, next tool is the spot healing brush this is the brush you have to click on alt and select a color whatever you want to i am going to select from here so when i click on this the color from the top of her face here 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 and here remove everything is all pimples gone our next tool this is the patch tool what is the function of patch tool simply select the area and move this area whatever color want to you you want to give this area like this move it slightly here and this is gone and this and this is also gone we have removed all pimples from her face with this tool too now this is the bird select the bird and take it here bird is gone simple tool easy to use and reliable so what is our next tool our next tool here is the content aware move tool you have to select this from here and want to move these anywhere on the face just click and look all the pimples from here is gone and you can also click them here select it and remove so it is gone from face but you have here look we want to remove move her eye from here to here <laughs> this is funny her eye is gone from here and here is it <laughs> so next is red eye tool red eye tool is nothing but it also show you color from here like the color of everything this is i too so control is that what is our next tool our next tool is brush tool brush tool is simply like brush you want to paint something if you want to remove size manually here is the size of brush whatever you want to set and here is the types of brush so we have selected color is red so it will draw red 
if you want to change color you can change it from here and here change it color so this is what uh, the brush tool done and pencil tool is also like brush tool but it will give you small lines really small lines so color replacement tool it replaces the color from one place to another like we select here and this is the function of color replacement tool what is our next tool our next tool is a mixer brush what mixer brush done it mix the color like we have these two colors and we gonna mix them here like this let me show you here like we use previous tool content area tool We have eyes here. So control D. So what we gonna do? We gonna use mixer brush here to mix the color of eyes. So it will look like real on the face. It mix the colors. What the color which is selected here? This is the function of this tool. So we have done here next tool. Our next tool is the clone stamp tool and the pattern stamp tool. Let me show you how it works. We have a board here. So select the pattern tool or clone stamp tool and select what area you want to clone from one place to another place like I select this bird here and now I want to make an other bird here this we have two words and again I am going to draw another word so Words, four words, so here we have six words. So this is like you make the clone of something. Next is our pattern stamp tool. What the pattern stamp tool? here we have some patterns if we draw something on it like reduce the opacity of this and wait here we have different patterns like we select this pattern and here it is if we increase the opacity of this this will hide the previous picture and this control this so this is the pattern go how it works you have different pattern you can look from here and you can also download pattern from the internet so load pattern if you have downloaded and select I have not any pattern downloaded so I am not going to add anything so we have done here 
we have learned in the four tools in that our tool is history blast tool what is the function of history blast tool it simply move the picture as it was history blast tool this remove all the changes from the picture like uh, we draw something here with this so when we use history brush tool it will remove all changes from the picture this is the function of history brush tool art history history tool this will blur or anything you want to use here this is the function this is not as important tool as this finger tool so that's what we have in this lecture we'll see more in the next lecture till then take care bye bye